Good day guys, I'm Mini War Painter. In this video I'm going to introduce to you a technique that's not often shown, called stippling. I'll demonstrate this technique whilst I paint the rough leather holster on the back of my Exalted Sorcerer. I'll catch you after the intro. Part 7 The Holster Before we get started, here's a quick snap of where we are with the model. If you've not seen them yet, there are numerous videos on my channel showing how I painted all the model's details leading up to where we are now. To begin painting the leather, I'm going to base it with dry eyed bark. This is then followed by an all over wash of null and oil. I favour this approach as it provides inconsistent patches of dark tones. To brighten things up again, I apply a diluted thin layer of dried bark, focusing the brush strokes to manipulate the pigment towards the outer edges and faces of the holster that are exposed to the light above, leaving the darker tones to remain where light can't reach. Once this layer is dried, I'll 50-50 mix dried bark and Gawthor Brown. I'll then apply this in the same manner as before, but making sure to leave some of the dried bark showing from the previous step. It's important we do this so as to provide us with that grade of transition in order to achieve that blended effect. With these smooth transitions complete, it's time to do some stippling, which will help us transform this famished holster into a damaged holster. Using Gawthor Brown, I'm going to mix a little water to thin it down. Stippling is basically applying small tiny dots with the tip of your paintbrush along the area you wish to highlight rather than the normal stroking of the brush. These little pricks of paint will give you a scuffed up rough appearance that old battered leather deserves. This will provide the model contrast in texture as you have this small rough leather holster up against the mass smooth polished power armour. Remember, small tiny dots and more of them the better. Too little amount and too large in size and it will potentially eradicate the effect. I want to get it across that stippling is no way an aggressive technique like dry brushing. It's controlled and it's precise. Done correctly and you'll be left with an illusion of a rough textile texture.
the first stage of stippling complete, I'll now go at it again, but this time with Baneblade Brown. Being sure to leave some of the previous efforts of Gawthor Brown showing, by sharpening up those lines of stippled highlights with this new colour. I'd like to mention as well that stippling doesn't only produce the illusion of rough textures, but can also provide the illusion of pristine textures. What I mean by this is that even the finest of garments will naturally be textiled using the most robust forms of cotton and silk in order to survive the battlefield. So even the desirable cloaks of the Eldar Farseers would be complemented with some stippling along the top of the highest folds, where light would pass through the woven gaps of the thick, heavy threads. Now that the leather is completed, I am now going to add a couple of cuts onto the flatter surfaces, just to reinforce the understanding of the hard life that the holster has endured. I look to achieve this with a 3 to 1 mix of dried bark and Abaddon black. But soon realised that this wasn't dark enough so I added a little more Abaddon Black to make it more of a 50-50 mix of the two colours. Then, by adding a little water to help with the control of the paint on my brush, I painted two thin scratch lines on the side and the rear of the holster, which will later be highlighted along the bottom edge of each line with Gawthor Brown to complete the illusion of a scratch. Done. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did please give it a thumbs up, if you have anything to add please don't hesitate to comment down below, if you are on Instagram you can find me at miniwall underscore painter. Here you can follow my progression as I like to post regularly on my stories. Don't forget to subscribe and don't be shy to mix those paints. Ta-ra!